But here's what they edited out. Oh, the bodyguards outside, outside, but the rest of shit isn't. Cute, you know. Know. The bodyguards outside keep it real cute now. Yeah, you're disgusting. And I have to. I, trust me. I'm disgusting. The Party City clown costume called me disgusting. You see me raising my hand because every time I tried to speak, that director said cut. No, Blair, you talk last. That's your rule. Blair's special rule is you're not allowed to talk until the end. The day has arrived. It is time to react to the trans civil war. <laughs> it's time to react to this crazy jubilee debate I was a part of a few weeks ago in LA. Um, you guys know it's been a lot of hype coming up to this, right? I've been sort of raising the alarm for, you know, the weeks in between filming that and now uh, over a few things because I've just been concerned about how it's going to be edited. You know, there was a clear bias in the room because Jubilee, the channel, is, you know, they're libs, which is fine. Uh, but there's a bias, even if they're not doing it out of, you know, any sort of malice. There's, there's always a bias with everyone, right? And so for me, I've been a part of so many debates where the editing is just so clearly biased that I'm a bit jaded and so I'm kind of like all right let's see how this goes so before we start this insanity and I get these PTSD symptoms that I'm sure to experience and I jump right back into this hellish experience that I had um a few things some things that I anticipate will be edited out that I hope are not Blossom one of the participants on the other side I hope that her violent threat is not edited out. I hope that it's live, loud, and in color. As loud as she was the rest of the episode, right? I hope that the end, there's a situation at the end where my mic is off and they start personally attacking me and I have no mic to really defend myself with audio. I hope that's in just to see how unfair that was. Um, there's a moment where the moderator cuts me off and allows Blossom to get some fake mic drop moment on me um, about a racial insult. And they release a sneak peek or even the sneak peek is edited deceptively because it makes it seem as if I rolled over when the moderator cut me off. When in reality, there was a while where I was going off on the moderator and it was a whole situation where I made it clear that if I'm having a racial insult launched at me, I'm allowed to respond to it. And during that, Blossom kept making that insult and screamed it. So I hope that's accurate. Um, I hope that the context for the beginning of the debate, where the libs derail it with personal attacks against me and completely take it off topic, and the moderator lets it go on forever, hope that's kept in. Um, but you know, overall, even though I seem a little salty, I am going into this optimistic. I am going into this hoping that it's edited as true to reality as possible. Being a non-binary person that sometimes has the choice to either go into a men's restroom looking like this. You can look at me looking no, it's, like this. It's just interesting. I thought this was a trans debate. That's oh, what I thought. <laughs> non-binary people, non -binary people, people fall under the trans, trans umbrella. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So I don't know. Maybe you could educate yourself a little bit. And I'm right back in it. I'm back. Back in that warehouse with those hot lights, that lack of AC, and these demons surrounding me. How this clown, and I'm saying clown, because not even to be incendiary, right? Not even in like a, oh, you're stupid way or, or whatever. I'm saying literally, you went down to Party City. You picked up that $39.99 Halloween clown outfit. We got, what, three weeks till Halloween. They just put it on the shelf. You grabbed it and you thought you could walk onto a trans debate dressed as a clown telling a transsexual woman that you're here to educate her on anything, first of all, but especially on something to do with trans. That is nuts. You're nuts. Your whole ball sack. For you to even open it with, as a non-binary person, One thing I know for sure I didn't have to say this entire shoot was as a trans person, because that's assumed, right? It's a trans debate and everyone sitting there is trans or supposed to be. So why would I need to do that? So for you to even open it with, well, as a non-binary person, you're admitting there's a difference right then and there between trans and non-binary. And like I said, and I hope it's in the edit, I'm sure there is a non-binary Jubilee episode, right? 
Fun fact, Jubilee has been trying to get me to do debates for months and months now, asking me for to be involved in a, a few debates. I think it was like two or three they tried to cast me for. And they just didn't feel right. They weren't topics I was extremely passionate about. And so I didn't, or topics I didn't feel like I had a lot to say on or was super educated on. And I passed. So the fact that you got asked to do a trans debate and you didn't pass and say, I'll let the trans people do it, nuts. Right? You were basically... Rachel Dolezal on a black women's issues panel. That's what you were. You're appropriating a medical condition. And I was worried they weren't going to make it clear that I, I brought it to attention, that I had an issue with him being there. And from what I'm seeing, it's the first moment. So <laughs> that, that looking up, looking up. <laughs> I think, I think I think I can educate you. Then you would figure out, you, you know, you, what right? reality is. Oh, well, 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 well. It is a safety concern for trans women to share. It's not looking up. This is already edited wrong. This is not chronological order. This was not the first prompt. The first prompt was trans military, and that's the prompt that the libs derailed and made it about two minutes in before making intense personal attacks at me, spit roasting me, double teaming me, and de deliberating the validity, validity of my career, and went on and on and on with the moderator not stepping in at all for a while. So <laughs> this is already not in order, and I wanted that to be true to time because it gives context for why I lose my mind in this debate and I do come across as so intense and so combative in this debate. I just knew that if they don't have that derailment in the beginning, at the beginning of the video, it's gonna look like I went nuts for no reason and not because they jumped into it attacking me. Oh. Yeah. There's no it depends. Yes. Yeah. No so I think, I think that to start it off though too, is it's not necessarily saying that trans women it all comes down to stuff. I'm glad I look good on camera. I have to say that also was one of the worries. <laughs> it's like, you know, being a YouTuber, I'm always in control of like my angles, my lighting, all that. And it's like, they had me in a dusty ass, crazy ass warehouse with some really weird lights. You know, there was a photo or it was a video that went viral, I think like just two weeks ago with some like whole man with a boner in the women's restroom. And there's just some poor woman filming it. Like, am I just supposed to like accept that this is here? So I think there's levels to it. I think that trans women who are actually trans, you know, we're talking gender dysphoria, transitions, making the effort, you know, probably once you reach a certain point in your transition where you can actually assimilate within that space and not cause a disruptance, that would probably be the ideal time to start doing that, right? I want to comment on Blair's point. The one thing I kept... I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. Now, mind you, this, because it's not in chronological order, she's edited out of order, this is after she derailed the entire debate in this looks like next prompt is where they edited it in and turned it into Maury. Right, I was in an episode of Maury because of Blossom and the others, but mostly Blossom. Who cares who's trans and who's cis going in the bathroom? You should be minding your own business, being able to pee and do your business in peace for the most part. That, com that um, conversation around this man with a boner on or whatever like that, I saw that picture and I thought to myself, that's really a right wing talking point and conservative propaganda <sighs> because that's their ideology. A video of a real life occurrence is a right wing talking point. First of all, that sentence doesn't even make sense. It's structured <laughs> about as illogically as every other sentence that came out of your mouth the entire shoot. Now, one of the reasons why I'm frustrated that this is edited out of order is that at this point, Violet, I mean, <laughs> Blossom had already made a violent threat towards me, right? She had already derailed the shit. So, <laughs> I mean, you can kind of see all over my face. I'm already upset. 
right? I know my own self and I look pretty upset. And mind you, it's hard for me to make an upset face because of the amount of Botox I've had. So for me to look like that, for me to be frowning at all, when those muscles have been paralyzed for a minute, that's how you know I was upset. So I wish it was in order because, you know, I'm watching it knowing that she had already threatened she had someone waiting outside for me, but the viewer doesn't. They use you as the baseline to amplifying this propaganda. How is it propaganda if it's a thing that really happened it was caught on video? Like it was an actual occurrence, it okay. wasn't staged, it, it happened. And that's not the only, it's not an isolated incident. But that's not enough for me to say because actors can do that. Who knows, they could have been in Isn't it so much easier just to say like, yeah, that's gross and wrong that someone would expose themselves in a bathroom and just condemn it and look like a normal person doing it rather than to stretch your, you know, I use the word mind loosely, but to stretch your mental capacity to say it was actors, it was right wing propaganda. That's a lot. Why? Why can't you just be like, yeah, that's gross. And that doesn't actually represent all trans women or trans women in general, because that's clearly like a cross dresser. Isn't it easier just to say, get the cross dressers out of the trans community rather than to cover for the cross dresser, making the trans community look crazy? Like, is it, wouldn't that be easier? Make you look more sane, make trans people everywhere look more sane? Because that's what I'm trying to do in this moment, Reg regardless of how it's being perceived by them or y'all at home watching it. In that moment, I'm saying, that's a cross dresser. And we got to return to the times where the trans community was like, you are not us because y'all do stuff like that. All right, so now we're going to get to the actual first prompt, which was edited out of order. And we're going to see if they keep in how the liberals came and derailed it and made it an episode of Maury, an episode of Judge Judy, a debate about the validity of my career. That was how the debate actually started. And I've met many trans veterans that I've paid respect to publicly on social media, and I think that's amazing, actually. So if you're kicked out and it was once, you know, the norm well, that you could... what's the resources you're I'm offering I'm speaking, them. though. If you're kicked out and you it once was the norm for you to participate in the military, that's sad. But at the same time, if that is what is determined for the ultimate safety and effectiveness of the military, nothing should come before that. Blair, have you ever worked second directly bombs, with trans Because the people? second bomb... Blair, have you ever worked directly with trans people? And look at my face. Looking at him like he is stuck on you because you must be. Right? Have I ever worked with trans people? All right, let's count the times on either of my channels. Right? I'm working with them right here, first of all, on set. All y'all are trans minus one. And yeah. Yeah. So this is the beginning. I hope that they, I hope this is unedited. Have you ever worked directly? I am right now. I am right now. No, We're directly in by services in terms of nonprofits <laughs> sure, and actually she's a getting clientele. She's not That's grassroots. That's my entire career. She is not a grassroots not person grass because truth be told, a lot of our community what does that even mean? is in grassroots. Have you ever had a client list of transgender that people that you actually took care of? Hold on just a second. Took care of them like, what, like paid their bills? No, I'm I don't. Sorry, offering them services, getting them through services. I've helped a lot of trans, trans people in my life. Trans-led yes. organizations that are ran by trans people. I really want to see what you've done for those organizations because I don't see any of y'all on the front line. I'm on the, the front, front line. line. Like, what are you the, talking about? I'm dedicated. Hold on, hold on. I've dedicated my entire life to in my own way and you can disagree with that because we all have our vehicles and our methods Correct. towards Absolutely. promoting trans acceptance and the ultimate progression of the quality of life of trans people i've dedicated my entire life to that right i access millions of people every single month on all my social media and i have people reaching out all the time saying that i've saved them from so just like we mentioned doing? suicide what are you physically, physically doing physically yeah. the they're so stupid these morons, what are you physically doing? I just said I reach millions of people, many of which are trans every single month, and it's about what I'm physically doing? What does that even mean? Do I need to be washing their cars? Do I need to be mowing their lawns? What are you talking about? Grassroots, grassroots. Pretty sure I started at zero subscribers and zero views and worked my way up to millions and hundreds of millions, right? What's more, what's more grassroots than that? So you're part of these organizations that probably existed before you joined them. Where, where are your grassroots? My God, 
this was so stupid. And this went on for so long. And I hope it, and I hope it shows. And I hope it shows Miss Blossom putting those hands in my face repeatedly. Right? That long arm, that stretchy arm. And I'm thinking that little violent threat is coming up soon. So that better be in. Have you ever taken okay, on so a client here's the thing. Have you, have you like ever a, had so someone call you I'm homeless sorry, do you and have give like, them resources? I'm sure like you guys feel very... You guys are asking questions and you have no interest in the answer. I'm sure you guys are very, very proud because of the fact that you can walk... Because you're going circles, Blair. That's what we're oh saying. My God, How could it be her. a circle when I haven't answered the question at all because you keep speaking? I'm sure you guys are very proud that you can enter a building and work with 25 people at a time. I access millions oh, every month, Oh, that is not what not right. is. It, it, you know, you, you can... It's really so disappointing that you would ever equate this is community service. service. Yeah. Yeah. This is disappointing, actually. It's, this is very disappointing. It's disappointing that you would disrespect all of the people that are in community community service and all of these it's very disappointing that i would disrespect all people involved in community service while y'all are disrespecting me disrespecting the fuck out of me actually downplaying what i've done right and people love when you have this self-awareness to say and state your own flaws right or what you may be doing wrong but God forbid you have even a drop of self-awareness of things you maybe have done right or been good at or done well, which is my ability to access people all over the planet. I've done that decently well, right? When you start at reaching zero people and you end up reaching hundreds of millions over the years, I've done that well. Have I done that the best? No, I am not PewDiePie. Have I done it? close to the best in the entire trans community yes and i'm not big-headed for saying that that's called self-awareness there are not that many trans influencers that have the size of audience that i do or have reached as many people so for y'all to sit up here and downplay me is so gross because i didn't come in there downplaying what you guys do not that i even knew right y'all walked into it knowing exactly what i do don't know what you do but even if I did, I definitely wouldn't have walked in there downplaying it, degrading you. Like, just so disrespectful. Social workers that actually Correct. do help trans people. Okay. And it's really disappointing that you guys are okay. disrespecting okay. what the fuck I do. Right? Hi. When you say something about what is... That cut? That cut? What was that cut for? Let's rewind about 10 seconds. Look at that cut. Guys are okay. disrespecting what the fuck I do, right? When you say so, y'all saw that was a cut, right? I'm looking that way, and then my head's over here. That's a cut. So obviously, I pause it. This is my first time watching. I don't know what it jumps to, but <laughs> because I was there in real life. I know that it got extremely intense. So if that gloss is over and it just moves on, then it was cut out. And that seems also like perfect timing for Vi for uh, Blossom's little, I got someone waiting for you outside, comment to be edited out as well. I just really hope that the people at the top that you're referring to aren't transphobic, because let's be clear of the isms that are oh in the God. military. Man, we live that in America, people are Excuse allowed me, to I'm be. speaking. Do not interrupt a black trans woman when she's speaking. You've interrupted. You're pathetic, Blossom. You're truly a pathetic person. Do not interrupt a black trans woman while she's speaking. Demanding respect based on her skin color and her identity, but is in the same breath degrading what other people do as a career and in the same breath violently threatening me, which it's looking like it's not even in there. So congrats. Congrats, you're on the right side, the correct side that would cover for you. However, that is pathetic. You are not owed respect based on your skin color or your identity. You're owed respect on, based on being a respectable person, which you're not. You're simply not, right? When you escalate a political debate, what's supposed to be a battle of the minds, 
do something physical, you're not a respectable person. When you make a conscious choice to get that wig from Dollar Tree and can't even find it within you to drive a couple more miles at least to Party City, we couldn't at least be hitting on Party City? That wig was the assault. So you want to talk about hitting people? How about you wear a wig that hits on anything? Because that's hitting on nothing. Do not interrupt a black trans woman while she's speaking. For what? For what? Because what you have to say is so intelligent and so worth listening to. You're the dumbest person in the room, actually, which is kind of saying a lot. Very, when it times. comes to, in, when it comes to isms, did the interrupter just again, say if you use are her black, skin tone to you say you could black, interrupt her? If you are black and That's trans amazing. and you want to go into the military, I am quite sure that my experience <sighs> would not look the same as y'all's. And if we can't wake that up, then we're really being complicit. They don't look I don't, at your I don't race. Think, I don't think your but skin you, tone makes any difference. Well, as somebody, yeah, again, no, well, as somebody who's in the military, as somebody who's serving in the military, for you to tell a black person that is so As somebody who's serving, for you to tell a person of color here. Do you have anything else, girl? Do you have anything else to utilize than that? At best, that's just fucking obnoxious. But in reality, it's condescending, pompous, racist. Yes. Demanding that you have an ability to speak over someone else because of your skin tone. That's racist. And just like I said, is the interrupter using her skin tone? to stop an interruption like i i'm so confused genuinely confused because i am this is my experience and this is my reality first of all it has that is so disrespectful to tell a person I'm gonna of have color, an a black person how they should feel how dare you sit up there okay, and well, say no it's disrespectful and, 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 hold on just you a second let me finish my point and, and you just you scream yes you did no you're being disrespectful you wanted me here and i'm here so which which you going to you wanted me here, so I'm Replay. here. You Wait, in particular. So we, we just so want we you to calm down and speak like no, that. Not my, what are you talking about? It's not my fault that y'all don't understand respect. Let's talk. You're interrupting. Oh my God. Can you please stop, stop, stop? Okay. We're good. You need to calm down. No, you do, honey. Change the rules. My God. Someone get a Xanax for okay. her. That Xanax was never got for her. This was the beginning. The most disrespectful one wants to say no one else understands respect there. Oh, uh, keep it, keep it cute, girl. Cute. Keep it real cute. Oh, body. Keep it real cute. How about you find cute? Land on cute. Right? I'll meet you there because I've been on cute, stayed on cute. Throwing out violent threats in a political debate. Yoking up on the smallest one on the panel. Did you just tell a black trans woman? He did. And what are you going to do about it? Because I have his back. He is so sweet. And again, talking about privilege. Hopefully it's in the edit. He, he opened up about his life. He's the opposite of privileged, right? And I'm not about to play a Prussian Olympics with you, but... My supporters who have seen the multiple times that I've opened about my life and my childhood, which y'all only know a fraction of, by the way, y'all know I don't come from privilege. Miss been to the White House. Miss been on Ellen DeGeneres and was gifted a full ride through college. Had a moment on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Handed one of those big checks, posing with a nice smile because she was given a free ride through medical school by Caitlyn Jenner, who also put her on I Am Kate, a Kardashian spinoff. So you're the most privileged person sitting there. Guess who's never been on American network television at all? Hi. You've been on CNN. My equivalent, Fox News, has me blacklisted. You've been to the White House. I've been doing politics for almost eight years. Never been to the White House, at least inside. I'm behind that fence, <laughs> looking, taking pictures like a tourist if I'm ever there. So... Where's the privilege? Listen closely. Change the rules. My God, someone get a Xanax. Stop, stop. Okay. We're good. Star. Keep it, keep That's it cute, girl. Point. Keep it real cute. The oh, bodyguards outside, but the rest but keep of shit is The bodyguards outside. Keep it real cute now.
So there was no security during this Jubilee shoot. So you're talking about someone outside for me. Your goons, your little bodyguards, your people. Like, you're disgusting, Blossom. So that is at least one of the comments about someone being outside that I didn't hear because it was a commotion being on set there. But you and another person came and told me she was talking about people outside. So yeah, like, I, I heard it. I mean, I'm with you. So if you're getting into a fight, I had to too. So. <laughs> but wants to yell about disrespect yes. and then went home and did a post about violence against trans women. Want to talk about that? The epidemic of violence against trans women. So does it not count if it's against Blair White? All right. So that's the end of the transgender military prompt. And what I can tell you as someone who lived it was a lot was cut out of the what have you done with your career shit towards me, right? It was a lot more intense than that, in my opinion. However, I will also say, even what they did show does, in my opinion, accurately portray how disgusting they were. It's okay for minors to get top surgery. <laughs> really? You guys waited on that? <laughs> That's pretty vile. <laughs> I feel like... By the way, at this point in the debate, I was instructed that I have to speak last every time for every prompt. And granted, they gave Big Mouth Blossom the same rule, but mind you, because of that rule where I had to speak last, there was a lot that was said and that went on that I couldn't even address. Otherwise, they would just say, cut, Blair, no talking till the end for you, right? And actually, it was not equal even with Blossom in terms of having that specific rule because for me, from what I can remember, like I was the actual only person talking last every time. It was always Blossom and then me. It was always me last. So so annoying this is definitely the prompt that i am the most passionate about because i think there are few things more vile more irresponsible more you know dangerous than saying a child can consent to permanently removing a body part that serves an extremely important function the idea that a child can consent to a sex change, to gender affirming surgery, if you believe that, there's really nothing that you can believe they can't consent to, right? Because that's pretty extreme. That's a permanent body modification under the best circumstances. So you wanna move aside all the complications, all the things you can't do, the sterilization, not being able to feed your kids. You can even set that aside. Just the permanent body modification. I mean, you have to be so demented <laughs> to believe that a child True. fully understands. I heard a few conversations about, well, if the child fully understands, <coughs> they don't. <laughs> they don't because they're children. Again, I don't understand this obsession with obsession. other people's other people's children. It's about caring it about is, kids. I got, I'm talking. Oh, my God. It's oh, obsession. Get it together. But you know what? I don't care if you're talking, sir, because first of all, you really shouldn't be there. And second of all, for you to, you're putting word, you're putting things on me that are just not true. This obsession. No, you're not going to just be able to filibuster and use that word. And then because I'm supposed to talk last, the moderator lets you talk for two more minutes. And then I forget that you even said obsession and didn't, you know, clock that. I'm going to clock it immediately. You're not going to say, you're not going to twist this and say, I'm obsessed with kids. That's y'all. Non-binary should not be considered under the trans umbrella. Let's go, girl. <laughs> Let's go, girl. I love Andrew. Andrew is so sweet. Like, we just knew, and I just knew, that my whole side was coming. Y'all better not disagree on this one. <laughs> this is evil. I think that the concept of a transgender umbrella is inherently an issue, right? Because when you're talking about something as nuanced, complex, um, full of social dynamics, medical dynamics, so many things to be considered. When you're talking about a transsexual, you should really be specific, right? And this entire concept actually of transgender is 
relatively new. Like it came about in the 70s or 80s through queer theory when originally it was about transsexuals, which was considered a medical diagnosis. I don't do a good enough job of being that specific and clear on my channel about that. And I want to start doing that. And that's why I made a point to do it here. Transgender is a much newer term than transsexual. Transsexual has been here about a century, that term. Transgender, a couple decades. They changed it. They switched it up. They broadened it to include people like the guy in that clown outfit. And for me, the only path forward that I can see towards fixing all this trans shit and the problems we're having is returning to what a transsexual is. So going forward, just be ready for me to make that point a lot because that's very important which was a medical process, and it defines something very specific. When I meet a trans person, right, like a trans woman, a trans man, there is an inherent camaraderie. Like when you, you know, mentioned, I can't take this off, part of me almost got a little bit emotional. I know it's hard to believe people think I have emotions, but I really do. And because I saw you in that moment, and I said, you know what, we are similar in that way. We may be different in other ways. We don't know each other very well, but we have that. When I talk to you or I'm around a non-binary person, it doesn't really you know, click, it doesn't connect because it is so different. So I think that's inherently, I should be able to see some semblance of my own issue within own that community. person and I don't yeah. when they're non-binary at all. And so I have no issue with bi- What I got in common with the clown outfit. Oh, I, we, I don't no, know if it is. We're weakening our borders by creating this divide within our own community. This is so silly, look. I this isn't your community, babe. First of all, I reject kind of the word community because I often feel like it's not really a community, right? But if it is a community, you're definitely not in it. So how dare you tell me about the borders as if you're really patrolling it because you're not. Again, picture Rachel Dolezal telling a bunch of black women that they're weakening their borders by not allowing her to speak up on it. I agree with it. I was like, what is this? This is stupid. How can you be a them? Blah, 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 blah. You were and correct. I did the whole thing, the <laughs> grammatically, you're interrupting me. But you were correct, I'm but just saying. I'm agreeing with they you. They asked you not to <laughs> comment, and you're commenting, so if you could. I'll talk whenever I want on the trans debate as a cast member who's trans, right? Whenever I want, actually. And I was agreeing with you. You had the correct position that all those made up identities were trash or at the very least not to be compared to a real medical situation. All of you, I'm a real person. This is my experience just as yours, sorry, is just as yours is the trans experience that. Just as yours is the trans experience. See how they tell on themselves? He just, he's separating us all the time in his own words, but when I do it, it's a problem. As a non-binary person, in your trans experience, so you're even saying it's different, but also saying it's the same, but if I say it's different, then I'm the bigot. As a trans woman, as a trans man, or as whatever, but I'm not here to belittle your experience or to tell you that you don't exist. And that's the difference between you and I, that you're trying to cancel you. And when I say you, I'm talking about conservatives. And maybe it is you. You see me raising my hand because every time I tried to speak, that director said cut. So me raising my hand is him addressing me and me saying, hi, can I say something soon? Because he's saying a lot of shit and I would like to say something back. You're part of the thing. So, You're part so of the thing. Here's so why, where I get to interject so because there's a lot okay. of things said so about stop me. Stop addressing her and just talk to everybody. Okay. But what is your dysphoria? Well, I, there was some things. Okay. I, I'm, I'm gonna let you. Okay. So, do you see? I'm just right back in. I'm so mad. So another complete. I don't want to say the word lie, but I guess that's what it is about what I've said here, right? I never said you don't exist. So we can add that to the long list of things y'all have said I've said that I didn't. We know you exist. You're here. You're not fictitious, right? My point is you're different than me. You're looking like a fictitious character in that outfit, right? You're looking like a Sims character on clown mode. Right. You know, when you pick a job for the Sims character, you're wearing the exact outfit that Sims character would rolling up to work as a clown. But yeah, you're here. So I hate that argument. The whole 
non-binary people exist. No one's saying you don't. Not one person. So that straw man argument is crazy. Me, and I don't even think you deny that, but yet when I say it, it's an issue, right? The same way that he said he can't take that off, you can, right? It's different. At the very least, it's different. And when we have a community that there are so many categories, demi-girl, demi-boy, astrosexual, all this shit, but y'all can't fathom that maybe that would be a different category than what I am when we have such different, as you keep saying, and everyone keeps saying, experiences? It doesn't make sense. A bisexual is different than a gay man. Can, can I ask a question? I just actually want to ask you a question. What is your dysphoria, though? Because gender dysphoria or sex Thank you, dysphoria, Sarah. As I would Watch how he can't it, say shit. Is a, an uncomfortability between. Thank you for asking that question, Sarah. And watch how the answer, from what I remember, it didn't describe gender dysphoria at all. <laughs> My secondary sex characteristics not just what I wear on a daily basis, because masculinity and femininity doesn't have anything to do with being trans. But that's not true. But that is not true. You can have- See? I couldn't believe it. You're saying that's not true to someone who has gender dysphoria. And that's not maybe a sign that you don't have that? have dysphoria without having to be dysphoric about your sex parts. But what is your you dysphoria? dysphoria? What is, what about is your anything? dysphoria? Straight cis women have dysphoria about their breasts all the time. They get breast augmentation. It's not dysphoria. That doesn't mean, that doesn't. He is compared to a woman getting a boob job. Cause that's what it is to him. It's just aesthetics. It's just choosing to dress like a clown or choosing to get bigger boobs as a woman. No, we're gonna break it down. It's a medical disorder, a mental disorder, a condition that causes you immense distress. And I promise you, as someone who has it, and at one point in my teenagehood, couldn't leave my house, couldn't talk to people, couldn't participate in society, was beyond depressed. I mean, it feels dumb even saying the word depressed. I promise you that's worse than a woman who's like, I want bigger boots. I wanna put on a clown outfit today. And you don't know my life. You're not in my life. Well, daily. that's why I asked you a question. You don't know what I, I experienced, the, the different things that I experienced personally. I cannot believe that I grew up as, you know, this five year old little kid experiencing just crippling gender dysphoria, like horrible thoughts, struggled so much my entire life to be sitting in this room and you're explaining to her what dysphoria is. I have my experience. It's it doesn't mean amazing. that I didn't have crippling. You got a different I experience. It doesn't mean you that got a You got a different experience, babe. There's also, speaking of the numbers that come out of LGBT act uh, activist organizations, there was a little number that the life expectancy of a trans woman was 35. That was recent. So this is a moment where, so this is a moment where Blossom decides to turn up on me. And I think it's gonna be edited to pieces because it was very intense and very long-winded. Um, where I am saying that how can you believe all these statistics coming out of these activist groups when for the longest time they said that trans people typically die at 35, trans women specifically, and they had to rescind that number a few years ago and say, oops, we actually sourced that number from prostitutes. So they had an entire community of people scared and like gaslit into thinking that they weren't going to live past 35, which as you could probably imagine plays into like how hysterically they you know, engage in activism because they think it's literally life and death. And people just believe that. I even took that at face value for some time. Then they rescind it and I'm like, how toxic that we just ran with that number, that you had an entire community of people that are already suffering from, you know, mental issues, thinking that they're gonna die at 35 when they don't have to. Blossom immediately says that's because it's from black uh, trans women. I'm like, no, they sourced it from prostitutes. And then she couldn't get up off, off of that. You'll see. Then did a couple years ago after like over a decade of that being like just factually, you know, shared. And I always thought that my life was statistically going to end at 35. So, but those numbers were based on by those organizations, prostitute deaths. So it's not always the most reputable numbers they're getting. You know what I mean? And these activist organizations are political too. We get caught up in calling them activists and we think it's this emotional, spiritual thing, but they are political organizations. Yeah. So I am an activist. And so a lot of what you're talking about really was focused more on black trans women because black trans women no. do not live past the age of 35. No, it was sourced from prostitutes. The statistic was sourced from prostitutes and not of any race. But 
as she's done this whole time, she will make that about race. She definitely will. Because oftentimes it is our group within the trans community that is often murdered, we're often harassed, we're often discriminated against. And so a lot more of that focus has had to be around black, brown, indigenous folks because oftentimes the research goes missing for us. They sourced it and, from prostitutes though. That was the source of the But stat. see, the thing is though, even when we talk about prostitutes, trans women have to sometimes participate in sex work to survive. But they based it off cis prostitutes. Sorry, but, I'm done. It was yes. just, it was. They didn't even get the number from trans people. They told the trans community, your life expectancy is 35, and they sourced that number, not even from any demographic within the trans community. They sourced it from prostitutes, biological female prostitutes. And Blossom, well, I hope the edit reflects it, just kept saying, because black trans women, because black trans, it's not about that. The number wasn't even from trans people in general. But she couldn't get that because it has to be about race. It has to be about her. False number. So from what I understand is a lot of that focus has always been around black trans women because we do not oh. get to see the age of 35. You are in a place, when I say privilege, Here we go. you are in a place of privilege where you do not have to worry about the harassment and the discrimination that I face. I face as a black person. I face as a We're black not gonna person. Get into I'm not going to say that you do not experience harassment or discrimination that's not what i'm saying because like you said you're a person of nuance and so follow me here when i follow me here is the issue that no one can follow you or that you're literally so incoherent you have engaged in psychobabble for three hours now this is like the last prompt i think the real one right you are running that mouth making zero sense. So is the issue that I'm not following you or is the issue that you're not followable? Come as a person of color, as a black trans woman, you and I do not get to have that same experience. There are you more went to the rooms, White House, I didn't. There are more rooms that you get to walk in that I will be forbidden in. Pick a room. So first of all, we're gonna definitely, right, catch you up to speed. You know, we are not living in Jim Crow, so they're not. Are, there's no rooms you're forbidden from, right? I can acknowledge that the experience of a person from one race to the next, there's going to be different experiences between the two. That's not, that's not questionable. Yeah, because everyone's experience is different. A man and a woman, an Asian and a Latino, everyone has different experiences, right? But the idea that I am somehow on a higher pedestal than you when you've gone to the White House, you've been on Ellen, you've been on a Kardashian show, you got gifted a full ride through school, you've been on CNN, and I have done none of those things, nothing even close, right? I'm blacklisted for my equivalent of CNN, Fox News. Been told that on pretty good faith. Guess they're not ready. Hello. Um, never been on American Network Television. I've been on Piers Morgan, you know, Sky News Australia, some of the biggest shows in other countries. My own country doesn't want me on TV, which is fine. I prefer that, actually. I'll be an underground bitch. Loving that. Right. Because the American media is toxic. And, and if they give you the green light, that means you're toxic, in my opinion. Um, you know, never been on a talk show. You are not only on a talk show. You got <laughs> one of those big check moments. Free ride through school. And what they give it to you for. Because of your identity. Let's just be real. They gave it to you. Because Caitlyn Jenner said. I met a black trans woman and I want to give her a ride through school. Now, God bless. Like, I'm, that's amazing. And I'm not saying that shouldn't have happened for you. But if we can just be real, it happened to you because of your identity. And I'm over here, not even some Caucasian ass person like you're saying, by the way. I'm, everyone knows I'm mixed. I'm biracial. Half Hispanic, half white, and then not exactly half and half, but very Hispanic, very white, but then mixed with a bunch of other things, including 3% black, by the way. It's probably like a whole hand, right? So I'm not just a trans woman of color. I'm like a trans woman of many colors. <laughs> um, but, you know, even if we're going along with I'm just some white trans woman with more privilege, pick a room that I can go in that you can't. Pick a door, any room, any door. You were at the White House. You were in the most exclusive room our country has to offer. And I'm behind the fence taking pics like a tourist, despite being involved in politics for eight years, right? So, 
despite a lot of politicians following me, by the way, it's like multiple members of the Trump family follow me on social media, but I'm ne- I was never even in the Trump administration invited to the White House. Guess they weren't ready either, which is fine. And I'm not complaining about that because I don't have a chip on my shoulder. I love my life. I love everything I've created, everything I've ever done. And I love what I represent. And I'm proud to be underground. I'm proud to be this radioactive trans person that you know isn't TV friendly good because that means I'm not sacrificing any of myself to become TV friendly. You've been handed everything, Blossom. You should have been handed a different wig. And one thing about it is that's why it's important. Like someone like me has to create her own space. To- Did you create the White House? Did you create CNN? You created your own space? Because I'm pretty sure, and again, no one twists this into me being pompous, me being big headed. This is just being self aware. There were no trans right wing people on social media when I joined, when I started. So I literally created my own space, right? In many ways, this debate on Jubilee is happening because I created that space. That doesn't mean I'm big headed, it's just self-aware. That is a lane, right wing trans, that did not exist on, on YouTube before me, did it not exist on social media. In fact, was it ever referenced? Was it, was it even known to be a thing? Because even for years during my time on YouTube, People were denying it was even a thing. So someone who was invited in by spaces that already existed, White House, CNN, Kardashians, Ellen, is preaching to someone who literally had to create her own space that she created her own space. Literally everything you're saying is backwards. It's not even like there's a gray area. It's like, no, For not even trying to make a pun here, black and white. Separate, separate worlds, the truth and a lie. And you're on the side of the lie. Nothing you're saying makes sense. It's actually the exact opposite. There's not, not even any argument. We're not even splitting hairs. To be able to counteract so what you're doing. And I'm, so not saying, and I'm not saying that you don't. But what I'm saying here is what I'm trying to get you to understand is my blackness should not have to pay for your whiteness. That doesn't even make sense. It's destroying. Like I said, that doesn't even make sense. So they released a sneak peek with this and they chopped it to hell. And you're going to see that unless the sneak peek is different than the actual video here. But I'm thinking it's probably going to be the same. And I'll fill you in on what you missed. My community. I'm because destroying your community. So are you going to tell all of my exes How are you going to say that and then that's the end? What you're talking about too is there Yep, not- they chopped it. We're going to rewind it and I'm going to show you. Look at this. Watch. Community. So are you going to tell all of my exes How are you going to say that and then that's the end? What you're talking about. See how they cut to me doing an eye roll and then Sarah talking as if that was really what happened next? No, here's what they edited out. That went on. For a while longer, it escalated to Blossom screaming about my whiteness, destroying her blackness, and me fighting tooth and nail with that director for her to give me 10 seconds to respond to someone screaming, which they didn't even see. They only showed her saying it calm. She kept saying it, and it got to the point where she was screaming it, and she they didn't let me respond. Is there anyone who thinks that if I invoked someone's blackness, for any reason that they wouldn't be given at least a brief second to respond because I'm thinking they would. Whereas I had Blossom screaming about my whiteness and what it's doing or not doing. And I didn't have even a second to respond. I had to beef with the director and it looks like they cut that out. They cut to me doing an eye roll and then Sarah talking as if that's really what happened next. But we're going to run it one more time so you can see the, the way my body's positioned and my arms and everything, it's clear time has passed in between this. In fact, that's probably even before that argument with Blossom, what they're showing now, Sarah talking. That's actually probably before. No, it is. Because that thing with Blossom where she's screaming, you didn't even see her scream, but she's screaming about my whiteness, destroying her blackness. 
that was the end of the prompt and it was forced to move on. And I was beefing with the director as I was walking off set to go back to the line and be like, how are you not going to let me respond? And they just wouldn't. So that just really goes to show you that even with the bias editing, even with the, the moderator being biased, they still look that bad. But I wish you would have seen how bad they looked. I enjoyed this debate for what it was. So here, now the final I thoughts. So moving on as if that was really how it went down. Suicide at a higher level as well. Great. I enjoyed this debate for what it was. You know, um, it was quite ugly at certain points and I wish that it was all trans people on the panel because that would have been a, more like, appropriate and more wow. fitting. True. You're so um, offensive. You're an offensive okay. person, human being. Yeah. Okay, okay. Just well, so you know. I, I find a lot of things over here offensive as well. Oh, Ew. wow. Um, yeah, you're disgusting. And I have to, I, Bye. trust yeah. me. I'm disgusting. The Party City clown costume called me disgusting. Mind you, that was not the first time he called me disgusting. I didn't see the other time in the edit, so congrats. You got a decent edit. Only called me disgusting once in the edit, but <laughs> it's just, you're calling me disgusting? Okay. I am so frustrated with how much was edited out of this and how even though they still look terrible, y'all don't even really know how terrible they really were. Like, that's so frustrating. Ugh. But what are you going to do? By no means do they win the debate. So I guess that's a W. But I don't know. I'll see you guys in the next video.